Did you know that, on average, we touch our phones about 2,600 times a day in the current era? That's not all. Research indicates that, post-COVID-19 pandemic, the average screen time is a whopping 7 hours per day. That's 7 hours spent scrolling through social media, watching YouTube videos, or binge-watching Netflix. Now, while this might seem like harmless entertainment, it has far-reaching effects on our lives. From impacting studies and work to affecting our mental well-being. Social media addiction shares similarities with addictions to substances like cigarettes, alcohol, drugs, and gambling. Despite the vast differences between platforms like Facebook and cocaine, the addictive patterns they induce in the human brain can be compared to a significant extent. To comprehend this, let's first look at dopamine, a neurotransmitter in the brain associated with motivation and reward. Contrary to the belief that dopamine is solely a pleasure chemical, recent research suggests it is more linked to anticipation and motivation. When our mind anticipates a future activity that might bring happiness, such as receiving a reward, dopamine levels rise. This is a natural and healthy response in a normal human body. However, problems arise when repeated exposure to the same stimuli creates a chronic dopamine deficit state. The brain's dopamine transmission decreases below the baseline, making it challenging to experience pleasure and happiness at the same level. This concept is akin to the hedonic treadmill, where repeated exposure to the same rewards diminishes their novelty, and requires individuals to constantly seek new stimuli for happiness. Now, why are we more prone to becoming addicted to social media compared to other life achievements or activities? The answer lies in two main factors, ease of access and speedy rewards. Social media platforms are designed for easy access. A simple tap on your phone unlocks a world of content. Moreover, the instant rewards, such as likes, comments, and messages, provide quick gratification. To break free from social media addiction, it's crucial to address these factors. One effective strategy is to delete social media apps from your phone, reducing the ease of access. If you still want to use social media, access it through your phone's browser or on a laptop, making the process less convenient. Turning off notifications is another step to eliminate the constant expectation of rewards, allowing you to engage with social media on your terms. The key takeaway is to make the action more difficult, as the more challenging it is, the easier it becomes to overcome addiction. This principle applies not only to social media, but also to other addictive behaviors. Let us know your thoughts in the comments section.